Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Crosswatchers. Welcome to your eight card draw. What do I need shadow raid for this full to new moon, July 2023? I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short. They are my initials. Professional Witch, Professional Intuitive, President of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, 25 years in service, author of Words of Grace from a professional witch, a Kindle version available, link also in the description box. If you would like to check it, you can preview it for free and see the dedication to my Cancerian sun sign mother, just saying, but that's the Kindle version. The original version, which is much more colorful, is over on Patreon. Some of my subscribers have access to the original Words of Grace in PDF format. Uh, very colorful, a Fellini film fest compared to Kindle. We had to tone it down for Kindle because we just had to. But all of my subscribers get three things in common. They get all the extended readings, all the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. They get the daily check-ins, unlisted YouTube live stream links so they can chat with me every morning about the astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always a prayer, a blessing, a little something, something to send us on our way. Best way ever for me to start the day. And I love it more than anything kind of right now, the daily check-ins. And they also get an extensive discount on private sessions with me in person, Zoom, traveling, all of that. We'll talk about it at the end of the video, but I do love Patreon and I highly recommend it to my creative friends out there. But for now, if you wanna just go check it out, we've got two seven day free trials running, one for Seeker, the other for Human, the first two tiers if you wanna check it out. So come Patreon on Patreon. I'm the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angela Lions, that you can just call Mal. Oh yeah, and you can follow us too. Be able to see the public content there. So yeah, no, I love me some Patreon, but enough about me. Let's talk about you. Let's do some explanation for the new Cancerians and cross watchers, and then we'll get down to the divination. An eight card draw is just one card from eight different decks getting you clues, tips, and hints on anything in particular. It's very versatile. You can change the decks as we are doing for this series. We changed out. We'll talk about that. Uh, uh, but this uh, reading is a timed reading for a two-week period, uh, a waning moon cycle uh, from full to new, and your Cancerian new moon at the end of this uh, to help you, um, well, when the moon rides at her peak, then your heart's desire seek. Enjoy the energy. Three days, full moon, three days out. Then usually comes the tide of letting go, releasing, surrendering, or uh, I'm talking the language of spiritual alchemy, letting go of the three atoms in between lead and gold on the periodic table of elements, symbolically speaking, to shift to a more golden timeline. Let's look at the timeline itself. Full moon in Capricorn, your opposite sign, July 3rd, Monday, July 3rd, uh, 7.39 a.m. Eastern, I am in New York. So if you've got the three-day, four-day weekend, whatever, 7.39 a.m. Eastern, I'm just going to say because I'm saying it in every reading, Capricorn ruled by Saturn, Saturn rules coffee beans. Done. Right? Cup of coffee in the morning. Cast your heart's desires, your heart's desires seek. I mean, it's a Monday, but it could be a vacation Monday, right? Uh, and enjoy it. Enjoy a couple of days of it, because then we're looking at the two weeks following the releasing, the alchemy, etc., to your new moon in Cancer. Monday, July 17th, which, yes, means we have a new moon on Monday. You're welcome. Uh, 2.32 p.m., a little late in the afternoon to light a torch and wave it for, because it's daylight, usually, so, you know, maybe not. Duran, Duran. Uh, and in between those two dates of note, nothing gigantic. Uh, Mars goes into uh, Virgo on the 10th of July. Um, and Mercury goes into Leo on the 11th the next day. And really, unless you have other, you know, signs in those planets, but check your other sign because it's a general read, right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, check your other signs uh, to help you do the, uh, to no longer delay what can't be prevented in terms of our own healing process of letting go. It's part of the cycle of it all. That's why I do the five card draws, the uh, the the beautiful, beautiful plant a seed, help it grow for two weeks, and I write mine down and I apply them, and they are working for me. So you know, proof in the pudding. 
Let's see how this goes. Uh, uh, I think that's enough explanation. Oh, Crosswatchers, yes. You have the opportunity to get some insight, understanding, sympathy, and empathy for the Cancerian you are crosswatching for as well as maybe through your own spiritual process or just by getting a clearer picture. Uh, apply uh, the affirmations that uh, from the chakra reading cards or you know the magic of the divine animals oracle or the message of the archangel fire oracle or the healing mantra at the end uh, you might find uh, yourself more at peace feeling uh, better releasing what you need to release and helping the cancer in your cross watching for do the same vibrationally uh, as well as the entire Cancerian Collective. So, both feet on the floor if you can. Boom. Focus on your breath, if you will. Yeah, and I will do my best to help anyone alchemize to a more golden timeline. It's the quantum and all of that stuff. Every choice, every decision we make is either lead or gold, right? So, uh, we have the opportunity to no longer delay, which cannot be prevented. So, let's see what that looks like. I think we're good. The shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. Oh, let's just go there. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Oh, beloved Pantheon's override. Using the Caroline Mace archetype card, I call upon the collective Pantheons of the Divine for the Cancerian Collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video who are drawn to this reading. What is the dominant archetype in the eighth chakra? Hovering over the head of the Cancerian and the Cross Watchers for a reason, a season, or a lifetime, indicating the alchemy needed from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, fear to love, uh, in all of its derivations and interpretations, shifting the chakric dynamics uh, of every chakra underneath it so they have the opportunity to no longer uh, prevent that which cannot be delayed like weed whackers outside the window uh, this uh, full to new July uh, 2022 considering it's Cancerian sun sign season and the new moon will be in Cancer we're looking at the student archetype good wisdom family archetype um, I'm a horrible student, I'm a brilliant teacher, I'm an autodidact, and that's just alchemy, that's just how the archetypes lay. It's a wisdom family archetype, one of the nine families. The shadow attribute written on the card is the lead. Uh, the light attribute, the golden, we're all somewhere in uh, that percentage, right? Sometimes you just gotta alchemize 1% and things change. So the lead arrogance in the pursuit of destructive knowledge. Hmm. Unwillingness to translate knowledge into action, and that's what in my family we call a forever student. <laughs> I mean, it's like, how many degrees do you have when you get in a job? Right, well, it's, I'm sort of outside of that loop as the professional witch in the family. The light that you're shooting for here, humility and devotion to knowledge. The grace of humility, I say this every time, the grace of humility is the first and last grace in my book, Words of Grace, because humility is not humiliation. It is the shield against humiliation, to know that you do not know, but you are willing to be shown. And remember, there's always a higher truth, right? So a devotion to knowledge, that involves the heart chakra, just saying, and an openness to lifetime learning, because the fear of humiliation is the first controlling fear, according to both Caroline Mace and St. Teresa of Avila. So, and you live through it, right? So if you know that, hey, I don't know, I'm just doing the best that I can and really show up with that passion for learning, what's to be uh, humiliated about? You know you didn't know. You're going to make mistakes along the way. Everybody does. Boom. Just saying personal experience. And my book, Words of Grace, is in chakra chapters, too. So, you know, with that in the eighth chakra, there is an eighth chakra chapter. But now let's get the next four down. Definitely more Cancerian energy. Heart, third, third eye, crown. Daughters of the Moon Tarot. Feminist deck. Feminine energy deck. A goddess deck. Uh, because that is the internal, the internal, the, the creative amniotic fluid of the creative intuition. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh, yes. Still point. My goddesses, please override. <laughs> As I call upon my beloved goddesses of water, the sign of cancer and powers of the West, please, beloved goddesses of cardinal creative water. <laughs> 
Well, it, you know, it's fourth house. It's Cancer and energy. The house is getting taken care of, and I can overtalk any weed whacker any day, considering my maternal lineage in this lifetime. So please, beloved ones, with all love, all, all compassion, all, all charity and clarity, one card in clarity for the Cancerian collective: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Cross Watchers. Watching this video, receiving this reading, what do they need to be aware of? Heart, third, third eye, crown to alchemize the student. Uh, this. Oh, uh, this uh, uh, full to their new, the Ace of Flames, the One of Flames creation. Now, this could be in any chakra, right? You put it in the crown chakra, it's spiritual inspiration. Third eye, it's, oh, huh, creation, right? It's a creative spark, right? Throat chakra, uh, heart chakra, could be all of them simultaneously. So it is a seed, a potentiality. Uh, I definitely see it as an, an inspiration kind of card because it's an ace, right? It's a first, you gotta tend it, right? It's like a spark, a creative spark. Uh, and to do that wisely, and like, I don't know what to do with it, but I'm willing to be shown as a student, take the journey, right? Every day we're learning, learning every day. Granny Weatherwax. Uh, let's get to the lower three chakras, the masculine energy with the mythic tarot, the masculine energy outside looking in at you, or you from the inside looking out at people, places, and things, relationships in the physical world can be both mirroring is a thing. Let's see what hits the table as we call upon my gods. Please take a nice deep breath. Oh. Still point. Gods, my gods, override. As I call upon my beloved gods of water, the sign of cancer, powers of the West, please, gods of cardinal, creative water, king of cups, and traditional tarot, please, one card in clarity for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video and drawn to this reading. What do they need to be aware of? Lower three chakras, outside in, inside out, to alchemize the student archetype this full to new July 2023. Oh! Knight of Pentacles. This could be somebody. Could be you too. Again, outside in, inside out. Uh, and if it is you from the outside in, inside out, Knight of Pentacles is the sign of Virgo. Does not have to involve a Virgo sun sign. Could general read. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. Mutable earth, like sand, right? So you think of sort of like the ocean cardinal water uh, washing up onto a sand beach. Uh, the, actually, the Cancer Virgo uh, relationship, I've since having a Cancerian mother, I've had many Cancerians in my life because of that, and a lot of very good creative endeavors, certainly. Uh, in the background of this card are beehives. Beehives are not created overnight, nor do they produce a lot of honey right away, right? One bee creates, I believe, what, a teaspoon of honey uh, in its life cycle? So there is something creative here, but it is slow and steady wins the race. And I'm going to tell you, as a Virgo, I'm a Virgo sun sign, four planets, second house. Uh, the more I accept, all right, slow and steady, let's take in the detail, right? It's just sand, uh, for sure. Uh, but if I know that I don't know, then there's not so much stress in trying to figure it out, as long as I'm moving forward step by step by step to manifest anything. Uh, but it is the slowest moving night. It walks, it doesn't gallop, it doesn't canter, it doesn't trot, it walks. So, uh, the switcheroo that we did this time is we let go of the Blessed Bee by Lucy Cavendish and replaced it with the Chakra Reading Cards by Rachel Sharman, Rockpool Publishing, ending instead with the Matt Conn Healing Mantra. A little clue, a little tip, a little hint of which chakra perhaps to hone in on, maybe Google search or something. The higher selves of all involved. This could very much be a solo gig if that Knight of Pentacles Virgo is looking at yourself. So let's ask them. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Higher selves override. As I call upon the pantheon of higher selves, for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video drawn to this reading. What is the chakra that they need to look at to examine, perhaps do a little healing, a little clarity, a little shadow work to help them alchemize the student archetype from shadow to light, lead to gold, point to be 
he's toxic to healthy. Fear to love this fool to their new. Oh, inner child. Mothers of the Zodiac, mother thyself. Inner child literally says it right there. I do a lot of inner child work. I'm going to think that because it's surrounded by emerald green, we're looking at a heart chakra card here. I mean inner child work. It certainly got beaten up a bit because of the, the New Age 90s. It became sort of a parody thing, a joke. And yet it is from Matt Kahn, Matt Kahn Healing Mantra, that he said, just talk to your heart chakra. Same thing. Just saying. I'm going to read this. This one has the mantra, so here we go. Card number 17, heart chakra. You have called this card and energy into your awareness today because it is time to create a more fulfilling, loving relationship with your inner child. Each person has within them aspects of the child, those parts of us that can be vulnerable, misunderstood, unloved, not heard, and those wounded feelings we hold on to as children. Uh, uh, when we take these experiences into our adult life, our connection to the inner child is sometimes forgotten. Have you been beating yourself up lately or been down on yourself and allowed people and situations in your life to affect you negatively? Pulling this card today highlights that you are currently reacting to a situation from the perspective of the inner child. Old wounds may be opened and you may feel trapped and confused. This is a shadow read. Inner child works so many different variations, so many different ways to, to enter that. And it's all shadow work. And it's, I think, very hard, but it's all about love. Whatever arises, love that. Matt Kahn. I'm going to keep moving on here. Uh, take some time to tune in to this wounded being who lies within you. Ask what he or she requires in order to heal. You may feel drawn to go and see a healer or to simply take some quiet time and engage in an inner dialogue with this part of you. I mean, if you want a psychological foundation, you could start with Carl Jung, I suppose. <laughs> you know, so many ways in, right? It doesn't all have to be tinfoil hat woo woo land. Uh, whatever is re required, no, it's a powerful time of healing and breaking free from these old restraints. Now, with that, if we see that Ace of Flames that uh, on the inner as an innocent, like, <gasps> right? And the student with a willingness to learn here, then that inner child is going to be an amazing asset, right? I mean, it always is. Uh, whatever is required is a powerful time of healing, breaking free from these old restraints. It's time to set your inner child free and allow this aspect of you to feel safe. The child archetype at its core is about safety and innocence. Boom. Uh, to feel safe, loved, and heard. It's time to be fully engaged and present with your inner child to allow deep connection and healing. Love, love, love is the key. It is also very important to allow the inner child out to play. Life can be so serious and we forget to play create joy and have fun. When was the last time you played and felt like a kid? What does your inner child want to do? Go play on a swing, dance, paint, go to the beach. Uh, it's time to let your inner child express himself or herself with play and joy. Well, I'm Generation X, so my kid wants to, like, you know, play video games. <laughs> I do. Here and there, but I run a business. You gotta do what you gotta do. Your affirmation. My inner child is free to express love and joy. And of course, the contradictory energy will come up to that. No, it's not. No, it's not. And that's the alchemy. That's the uncomfortable part. But as you love it, it just, it's not that you're bringing light to your shadows. You're bringing your shadows into light. Oh, it's so deep. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> Never take yourself too seriously. I've seen horrible, horrible things happen when people take themselves too seriously. So, uh, let's go to one of the more joyous gods that I've cultivated a relationship with for over 25 years, Lord Ganesh, the elephant-headed Hindu god of success, prosperity, and remover of obstacles, as we're referring to those three atoms in between lead and uh, gold, uh, The uh, Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Hartfield, really wonderful book, love the deck, and uh, I love me some Lord Ganesh. Please take a nice deep breath. Let's see if we can uh, talk over a lawnmower. I think we can. Still point. Ganesh, please over. As I call upon the beloved Lord Ganesh, 
God of success, prosperity, and remover of obstacles, please, beloved one, what is your guidance, your grace, your love, your wisdom, your power, in the form of the oracle message to help the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading, remove the obstacles, do the alchemy from shadow to light, lead to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, with the student archetype in the eighth, this full to their new, July 2023, protection. If that child feels safe, then its innocence can come out as well as it can release some of those traumatic experiences. I don't know anybody who didn't have traumatic experiences as a kid. I don't think it's about, I just think it's written into the, the contracts, the scripts that we come in to do. And if you learn from them, there's nothing to regret when you learn from your past. And if that's the Macon healing mantra at the end of this, I will probably fall off the chair. Although I don't know why I do this often enough. It's not that I'm surprised, I'm shocked. <laughs> it, it shocks me still, which I guess is part of my uh, innocence as well. well. Apparently it's in everybody. But let's talk about protection. Take this in. Card number 20, protection. Protect your energy as you lift your vibration and frequency. You take care of that kid. You take care of that seed of fire inside you. As you continue on your spiritual path, you begin to lift in vibration and frequency, and you continue to experience new levels of love and light. Your energy body undergoes an essential transformation. These changes in the energy body require that past pain and limiting views of self be released. Shadow work, shadow work, shadow work. When this happens and the pain comes to the forefront of your experience, it can definitely feel like you're taking quite a battering. Ask Ganesha to surround you with his beautiful energy at this time. You may envision this energy as red, yellow, or white, in color, or in any color that resonates with you. Imagine this energy is filled with love and light. It is said that Ganesha oversees the angels of protection. Ganesha's light energy serves to release any negative energy within its field into light. Visualize negative energies, entities, memories, or stuck energy being released from your spirit, mind, and body. When previous pain shows up, it may not be a clear-cut memory of a particular past event or feeling of fear. Past experiences may be reflected in your current challenges and lessons. It appears in a form that will trigger you now bringing up resistance and distraction to be dealt with immediately. Keep in mind to respond with love. You are assured that you will continue to grow and evolve through this challenge. Ganesha will assist you in protecting your energy for the best possible results. So now think of that. If the child feels safe and protected, then those wounds can come up. It's way more deliberate than having it sneak up on you. And it is slow and steady it wins the race. You don't want to do it all at once. Oh yeah, no, I'll get it done. Give me 10 minutes. Ooh. Well, yes, uh, speed versus intensity, right? As if you want to do the band-aid one hair at a time, which sometimes is wiser if you just want to rip it off. Choices, right? But that inner child usually doesn't like to be that, right? Um, Wow, there we go. That makes sense. Protection. Got it. All right. Every, well, speaking of protection, everyone has spirit animals and totems. Which one wants to help? Let's find out. I almost did a one, a two, a two, three. Three. Please do a nice deep breath. Still point. Totemic override. As I call upon the spirit animals and totems for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, please, beloved pantheon of the animal kingdom who walks with them, who swims with them, who flies with them, who crawls with them. Offering them the guidance, the grace, the support, the protection, the love, the wisdom, the power, and the oracle message to help them alchemize the student. This uh, full to their new horse. Freedom. Freedom. You're gonna ride. Ride the white horse. Uh, uh, depending on your interpretation of that. Card number 24. This is definitely about uh, freedom. I mean, there's not... Well, and we've got the Knight of Pentacles here on the horse if you want to connect that in uh, for Shorzy's. Where are you? Okay, freedom is the key word. 
To be truly free, we must learn true independence. Or codependence, independence. Trust yourself as listening to people who may have other agendas is not the way to make a good, clear decision. What to do with that ace of flames on the inner? Uh, individuation from our parents is a natural process, inner child, uh, although it is often fraught with difficulty on both sides. Protection. Your true power resides in your ability to always know you have a choice and it is yours to make. Now, it goes into quite a bit of stuff in this book. It talks a bit about horse magic. Profoundly free and powerful. To ride a horse at full gallop is to experience a sacred bolt of the most primal liberty. When you are feeling trapped or small, expand your field by calling for their energy. Oh, it's like that sign in that Lord of the Rings movie when she calls them and they all come up out of the water. Oh my god, talk about cardinal creative water. There, stampede, you crabs. Uh, there is also a long history of physical and mental healing with horse energy you know, that I'm, I'm sure most of us are aware of. Um, horse magic is also an expression of trust. A powerful horse can go anywhere it wants, yet it is willing to be led. Uh, a person trusts the horse to be sure-footed, leap and run away from danger, while the horse trusts the human to be its partner, to not hinder, to take care of it, to guide it, and it can be a very deep bond if you allow it to be. If you are ever doubting yourself or feeling trapped, engage in some horsepower, expand your field by calling forth their energy. So look, it's a kid on a horse. Pony ride, right? This is lovely. And to do it in a safe, protected way. Now, that's obviously symbolic. I mean, but unless you have access to a horse, then do it. You know, again, weather's nice for it, at least where I am. I haven't been on a horse in a while. Come to thunk of it. So, this feels very, very healthy, very, very healing. I mean, I think your key is always going to be the heart chakra as a water sign. Uh, the emotional power of that. Um, and it feels like something is also growing inside of you. My eye keeps going back to uh, that card of creation. So, two left. The Archangel Fire Oracle, Alexander Wenman, Finn, Warren Press. Everyone has access to Archangels. It's just the way that it's been worded over the millennia. Uh, your higher self has been called a guardian angel. Angel being messenger of light, messenger of God, messenger of truth. To depending on translation. Well, then your guardian angel belongs to a larger collective called an archangel. Then the archangels kind of gang together and they create the virtues, the thrones, the powers, the dominions, the seraphim, the cherubim, and all of that. So we all have access to all of it. Um, so they're all, they always know they the higher self experiences all of our lives simultaneously than the archangel. you got to imagine, if you can. Uh, particularly coming with that innocence of the inner child. The archangels are always up for that. Let's see who you're going to call, if you want to, free will and all. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Still point. Archangelic override. As I call upon the beloved pantheon, of Archangels for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading. Who is the Archangel waiting in the wings with all that wings? Archangels got a lot of wings ready to zoom in and help them alchemize the student archetype from shadow light led to gold paint to peace toxic to healthy. At their slightest invitation, the angel will come. So who's common when they call? This a full two. New Rick Bial compassion. He's the one for Leo from the eight uh, the five card draws, yeah. The 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 five card draws from this past uh, series for Leo. Leo rising, Rick Bial is so cute. He's so cute. Totally. Yeah, my type. Sorta. <laughs> I love what you're wearing. It's very metallic. Uh, I know it's compassion because, like I said, I, I, I've been working with him in the South. It's been quite the experience, I have to say. So let me read you a little bit about Rick Bale, R-I-K-B-I-E-L. Keyword, compassion. Rick Bale is known as the chief of the divine chariot, the Merkaba. Jordan Villel Melchizedek, please pick up the courtesy telephone. This cherubim is said to be the power of love. Huey Lewis, please pick up the courtesy telephone. And he helps us to recognize the incredible power of having loving 
thoughts, a harmonizing angel who can influence centrifugal force and find the most loving point between two opposing forces, Rick Bale is especially helpful to call upon when working in group situations. Rick Bale maintains cooperation and promotes open communication. Like the cosmic diplomat in his oracle card, he shows us uh, that when a group strives towards a common goal based in integrity, they can achieve great things. Uh, Rick Bael presides over the four cardinal directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to the message. No matter how badly others behave, try to see through the eyes of compassion. Treat others as you wish to be treated and promote harmonious relations. So look, if there is resentment, see, here's the thing. The first man and woman that you meet in this life or lack thereof are your parents. Just there it is. Psychological thing, right? As far as I know, that's how that works. If there's an exception to that, blessed be. Uh, but even the absence of it creates a relationship. So, of course, you know, gee, at two years old, I didn't have the psychology ready to, pro to process what might have gone down, right? So it gets stored for us. It's lead so that we can turn it into gold. And if you do it as a student, just lifelong, fine. Then my lifelong, I'm going to learn how to love this inner child of mine, right? And make sure it feels safe so that I'm free and so that I can extend to the same compassion to other people uh, uh, perhaps walking behind, so to speak. Because as one of us steps forward, all of us step forward. Little by little by little. Everyone has free will, though, and I love that. Compassion. Now, back on Healing Manjur Day. This is unhooking the past. I will try not to fall off the chair. Notice I close my eyes when I shuffle because I want them to put the right card in my hand. Why? Because you're worth it. Please take a nice deep breath. And I have a skill at making a shadow read fun, you gotta admit. <laughs> Healthy inner child. <laughs> Still point. Oh, Ascended Masters override. As I call upon our beloved Ascended Masters, <laughs> please, Ascended Masters of the General Assembly. One card in clarity, the perfect healing mantra for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers watching this video, receiving this reading. Last card down, the mantra to help them alchemize the student in the eighth. Uh, one of flames on the inner, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, energy on the outer, inner child in the heart chakra as an indicated start point. Uh, removing obstacles with Ganesh via protection, the magic of the horse for freedom, with the compassion of Archangel Rick Bale, should they so ask, should they so choose. What is the perfect healing mantra to bring this all together? To alchemize the shadow light led to gold, pain to peace, toxic to healthy, this full to their new July 2022, allowing appreciation. The value of my life increases each time I appreciate everything in it. Now, that is certainly not a new concept, and you could find so many different exercises and programs and gratitude journals and, you know, you do you, but do understand what we're shooting for here in terms of appreciation, allowing appreciation, meaning it's there to be appreciated, to see it through that eyes of a healthy inner child when it feels safe, then the slow and steady wins the race becomes a lovely journey. Not an impatient brat fest. <laughs> Not a brat fest. That's a sausage party, I'm guessing. Wow, okay. Well, the Shecky Collective working overtime today, allowing appreciation. What do you think is easy doing this? I have Carrie Fisher orbiting my third eye on the regular. That might have been her. I'm not asking. I don't need to know right now. See? The grace of humility. I know that I do not know, but right now I probably don't need to. <laughs> allowing appreciation. The value of my life increases every time I appreciate everything in it. Oh, this isn't so bad. When appreciation is allowed, everything is seen as a gift for the evolution of your soul. Yeah, even the stuff that you don't want to appreciate, right? You would rather depreciate. Uh, the more often you appreciate, the greater value you feel within your own life. While there is true worth in uncovering your life's purpose, most feelings of discontent are not caused by what you do or don't do. Ooh, that's letting the child off the hook, huh? 
Uh, they are created simply by a lack of perceived value in your environment. Instead of waiting for things to get better before you allow appreciation, you must be willing to acknowledge the value in all things. This will awaken the feelings of elation that are always alive within you. And that makes sense if you're willing to say, okay, this is a lifelong lesson. I'm going to learn how, how to appreciate. Now, look, a lot of us, <laughs> we're taught appreciation by being brought to our knees by the divine dark night of the soul, shamanic descent, you know, whatever you want to call it, crises in any way, shape, or form involving abuse, neglect, codependence, or loss, right? It's, everybody gets their share of it sooner or later. So if that's what's going on here, obviously the way through here is for you to appreciate your situation. I hate that. But to say, all right, I'm open to learning this. There is compassion on the table here. There is protection, a safe space to explore this for that inner child uh, to show you through its eyes of, of uh, appreciation. This mantra is ideal for increasing worthiness, decreasing feelings of scarcity, and raising your vibration. And as your vibration rises, as said in the uh, the protection from Lord Ganesh, protect you for that, but you gotta ask. Alright, gotta ask. It's not that the gods and the archangels and the pantheons don't know. Oh, they know. But they want to know you know. Because they don't violate free will. They just don't. So, let's put this together in a blessimation, a blessing and a summation, because I love doing it. And uh, then we'll chat a little bit at the end of that, if you want to see, because I don't know how I'm going to release you all from my energy field, but usually I let the goofy run free, not that it's terribly tethered. Oh God, alliteration. Please take a nice deep breath. Signs are on the wall. Still point. Beloved Pantheons, please override. As I call upon the collective Pantheons of the Divine for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need, this full to their new, to embrace the humility and devotion to knowledge within them with an openness to a lifelong uh, of learning, to allow appreciation, that the value of their life increases uh, every time they appreciate everything in it, maybe one at a time, maybe a, a big moment, and it is a slow and steady wins the race, an appraisal, sure, an appraisal is seeking of value step by step, taking the healing journey for them, but they are protected, and the grace is there as they raise their vibration to help them remove the obstacles, and if they were to but call on Archangel Rick Bale as uh, the angel of loving compassion here, particularly working with groups, very diplomatic, then of course calling upon the horse magic of freedom is there as well to ride through this to expand their energy field so that the seed of fire within them can grow and gestate as they open and heal the heart chakra with the divine child the inner child the sacred truth of the heart chakra love is divine power so that inner child holds within all of us the pin codes to our success. But if it's afraid, if it's wounded, if it's hurt, neglected, abused, codependent, or has experienced loss, and honestly, pantheons of the divine, who hasn't? May they be blessed with all that they need to heal, to grow, to learn, to evolve, to alchemize their shadow to light, their lead to gold, their pain to peace, their toxic to healthy, their fear to love their enslavement to freedom for their well-being, for the well-being of everyone in their lives, for the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as we will it. So let it be done. So much be. So it is. That was a good read. Definitely a shadow read, but a nice soft finish, I think. Do you think so? Hit the thumbs up. Help other Cancerians find it. Want more of me here on YouTube? You know, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Comment if you like. Uh, but over on Patreon, darling, all that algorithm stuff stops there for Patreon. You sign up one of my levels of subscription, you get everything that I've put on that level of subscription since I added that because we've been adding them as we went along. Like I said, our first two, Seeker 
and a uh, human have seven day free trials, do it for like six and a half days and jump out. You'll at least get to check out some of the extendeds, they're juggernauts. Uh, uh, you get to some of the daily check-ins, but I'm gonna say the significant discount we're saving for actual subscribers, and I think that's fair, don't you? Very diplomatic. So click the link, check it out, call Patreon on Patreon. Because I'm the Archangel Alliance, Mark Angel Alliance, but darling's just calling now. Oh, and I love you, my crab cake. Crab cake, what do you mean by that? Uh, uh, if you want to book me for a private session, the, there are some new stuff since uh, uh, May 1st, 2023. Over on my website, there is a store that you can click on, and it has a bunch of different stuff on there, but we're talking about particularly readings and spiritual counseling. You click on that link, you'll see it all in writing, but I made a video uh, booking private sessions with Mal. Whether I travel, whether it's Zoom, whether we record it, Facebook Messenger, however we do it, it's all in the video. It's about 11 minutes and my mom the cancerian loves the video so we're sticking with it for at least a year or two i'm thinking i don't think i've changed my prices i raised them for 25 years i think that was worth what I'm doing but like i said my uh my my subscribers on patreon uh get a significant discount with that but honestly inner child work you can you can approach that in so many different ways really from the tinfoil hat will land right to serious like breath work rebirthing big time santa ray leonard orr uh the jungian freudian you know so many ways so uh i just found and i started inner child work back in the 80s <laughs> living in boston so uh you know i know it's a journey and still stuff comes up because what if as we heal one inner child we heal all inner children little by little by little it sounds like a divine plan to me so thank you so much for watching wishing you all the very very best and the very very blessed with the shadow work i feel you i'm an empath pisces moon you know i do so hang in there you can do this heal hell farewell and blessed blessed be